Jared Poland Fronos photo. Dot com and I can confirm that the Peter Lick photo Moonlit Dreams is in fact a fake, aka a composite, and I have the proof right here. Now I'm going to read you that in just a second, the email that I got. Now a couple of days ago before I reported on this, I contacted Lick Studios to see if they would tell me if it was a composite or not, so they asked me to call. When I did call, I got on the phone, they put me on hold, and they never picked back up. I waited a good two, three, four minutes for them to pick up, and they didn't. So I called right back. They didn't answer. Sent an email. They didn't answer it. But this morning at 1.07 a.m. on February 11th, I got this email back after I emailed them last night, and it says, Hi, Jared. Great to hear from you. Moonlit Dreams is, in fact, a composite photograph. We have been open and transparent regarding this topic since before the photograph was released. I do appreciate you reaching out and inquiring, wishing you a great weekend. Now I've redacted the name and the, the phone numbers and the email addresses, but you can see that it comes from at lick.com because it, that's who I emailed. I just don't want anybody emailing them or them getting in trouble if they weren't supposed to tell me this or not. Now, I don't know where they put this information beforehand, whether they tried to hide it or just now because there's a lot of talk in the photo world about it that other people who are searching for this image are starting to question his work. Because I know in the past, a lot of photographers have said he's been reluctant to tell you whether it's composited, any photos that he does are composited or not. Now, this is verification that yes, it's a composite. I'll call it a fake because that's what a composite is in this case. But I looked on the Moonlit Dreams website, it doesn't say anything anywhere about it being a composite. Should it? Probably somewhere in an asterisk, it probably should say, this is a composited image, image and maybe nobody who's buying it would even care, because maybe they don't care anyway. But what else is interesting is when I searched his website for Moonlit Dreams right now, it comes up as a 404 page, it's been removed. The Moonlit Dreams uh, photo site, which is behind me, is still up, but on his website, when I search out the URL, it's nowhere to be found on his site. And when I search Moonlit Dreams on his site, it's gone. So maybe they've been getting a lot of guff about this and they've taken it down. But it is official. It is a composite image. And that puts an end to it. How did I figure it out? I reached out to them. They got back to me for some reason and they confirmed it. So hopefully that puts an end to it now, and we will see what happens from here on out. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Does this change anything now that he's, or they, I can't say he because I didn't get an e email directly from him, but it came from his business. Does this change anything about his work going forward? Does this make you question a lot of his other work that you've thought are composite images? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll leave it right there. Thank you for watching Jared Poland Frono's photo.com. See ya. To check out two other Peter Lick videos where we discuss this photo, go ahead and click over here for the photo news fix. And you can click up here to check out the raw talk where we discuss the photo and whether it matters if it's a composite or not.